Alright, so in this video we're going to make a headrest iPod holder. So, you'll need this block, which will go over later, this block, two bendy things, really your choice, and some double-sided duct tape. So first off, let's start with the headlamp. There's a screw over here. Just take that out. Not gonna need it. Not gonna need this either, so still works with a flashlight, but pretty bad. So we're just gonna need this part. So, first off, I set that off to the side. Now we're gonna take our block. Drill here a drill. Drill two holes here and here, about an inch apart, so we can fit these ends in them. side. As you see, I drilled through the side, but that doesn't really matter. So, we're going to check the fit of these pieces in it. So, they just need to be tight. Since they're pretty tight, we're going to use a wrench to get them in. Pretty much just as far as I'll go. Now you could use one if you want, but I'm just using two because it's more stable. So the iPod won't do much on this. So, once we put those in, we're going to repeat this on the other side with our block. Basically how big you want this is enough to take your iPod have it the same size and wide enough so you can put these into there. So I drill these. side. Don't cut yourself. Now we got our two holes over there. Just gonna take these. 
can't really twist them in, so we're just going to kind of stick them in. See, this one doesn't want to go in as much. So just take our drill and widen it out. So now, these are okay for sticking in. So now we're going to take some hot glue and hot glue them. Make sure that you put them on the way you want. That's pretty much the bulk of the build right there. So we're just going to straighten it out. some extra hot glue on this. Other side. Make sure that's where you want it. Clean up with those stringy pieces. Alright. Let it dry on that side. Flip over. Since these are screwed in, you don't need as much hot glue, but still, good idea to put them on. On the side. Lamp and the small piece, we're going to put it on like so with some hot glue. Always reinforce it later. So make sure that's tight, and this is probably the most important joint because it's holding up the entire thing. So make sure it's pressed down real good. And we're gonna add some hot glue right in the front over here. over in the back other side back in the front it all in there. there. Poke it in there. Now this is pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. So now, simply bend it over. 
And now, we bend it down. If we're looking at it from over here, this is what you're going to be looking at if you looking at if you wear it. So now, this is where we're going to put our iPod. This is where double-sided tape comes in. Take it right here. Cut it to size. To your iPod. Whatever choice case you want. Now, since I want to keep this case on the iPod, I'm not going to hot glue it, but if you didn't need this case, you could just hot glue it straight to here without the tape. But the tape is quite strong enough on its own, so we're just going to use the tape. So from here, if you want those um, volume buttons on top or on bottom, either way. And so I'm going to put the case on here like so. Make sure you're centered roughly. And then just press it down. And this tape is actually pretty strong. Like I can dangle the whole thing from it and it's not going anywhere. So now put the iPod in. Turn it on. And now we've got a whole head mounted thing. So now if you're wearing it, it'd be something like this. And that's what you'd be seeing. So let's try it on. Looks like a charm.